Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us go to the book of Psalm 119, verse 9. The Bible said, Where we are shall a young man cleanse his ways. I know many of you young people out there, you're struggling with one issue or the other. You're struggling with one addiction or the other. You're struggling with sin. Jesus Christ said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rests. What it means there is, come, not come with your legs, but come with your hearts. All ye that are laboring, that are struggling with sin, struggling to live a life pleasing before God. All ye that are struggling to live a life of holiness and righteousness. Christ said, come and I will give you rest. And the rest is the Holy Ghost. Now, the question is, where with her shall a young man cleanse his ways? That young man wants to live a life pleasing before God. And he's asking, how can I cleanse my ways? And the Bible said, by taking heed to the word of God. By taking heed is by obeying the word of God. How can you obey the word of God? Psalm 119 verse 11 says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I may not sin against the Lord. Do you have the word of God in your heart? What is the word of God saying as regards your situation today? What is the word of God saying as regards that sinful nature? What is the word of God saying as regards that issue that you're struggling with? There's recourse in the word of God. There's deliverance in the word of God. And there's restoration in the word of God. If you go to Psalm 37, Psalm 37 verse 31. He said, the law of God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. If the law of God is in your heart, you will not sleep. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against the Lord. If you have the word of God in your heart, it will help you whatever step that you're taking. It will help you in the, in the, in the issues of life. When you're faced with situations of life, the word of God becomes a solid rock upon which you stand upon. The word of God becomes what you begin to lean on. You don't lean on your own understanding. You don't lean on your own decisions. But you lean on the word of God. So, brothers and sisters, where with us shall a young man cleanse his ways? The Bible said, by taking heed to the word of God. Obedience to the word of God brings salvation. Obedience to the word of God brings deliverance. And obedience to the word of God will certainly see you out of that issue. This is Shark Message. Shalom.